Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ebony Bowler, where we talk business, faith, and finances. We are going to be talking faith today. How you've got to go have faith in order to go far in life. Uh, subtopic, beyond mediocre to excelling at the top. And I will be picking at my notes here and there. So, what qualifies me? I have accomplished a lot for my age, my generation, and my race. I've been married to a wonderful husband loyally for the past 22 years. I've started several successful businesses, currently running two. I bought my first home at the age of 26 years old. I have helped other individuals to start successful businesses and to find their niche. And I have helped thousands and thousands of people in the insurance and financial industry actually for the past 20 years. I know, look at the melon in my skin. Thank God for great genes. I can't even believe that I've been doing it for 20 plus years. So with that being said, I've also traveled outside of the country and I've lived in several states. And so how did I do all of this? One word and that word is faith. So let's go back. If you want to get more on that, look at my previous video. I'm going to put it in the description box where I talk about how I started uh, the journey and how young I was at 14 years of age. I am definitely not trying to push my beliefs off on you, but I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm just telling you what worked for me. But at the end of the day, I'm going to lead you back to the source. I'm going to show you how to do it for yourself, not just listening to what I say. Because one thing I understand, at this place in my life that I'm in, I am not idolizing any man or woman. My whole place of focus and where I study and whose life I've watched um, from a, a reading standpoint is Jesus Christ. So therefore, because he is the author and the finisher of my life, that's where I'm going to get my directions from. I'm not going off of what so-and-so said or how they think I should live my life. And let me say this, I have the utmost respect for leaders and for the pastors and the teachers and the prophets and the evangelists and the bishops and so forth and so on. However, I also do believe that they have to have an accountability in human form as well. Where do I get that basis from? Acts 20 verses 28. And so I say to you, you got to know what the word says for you. So let's move on to how to do that through prayer and relationship. Okay, so let me say this to you. If you don't know, um, understand the scriptures, ask the Lord to show you um, the interpretations and also show you book sources where you can go to better understand the word of God. Once you've done this and you uh, begin to start praying and you begin to start talking to him and start understanding him and start understanding the way that life goes, you're going to start to build faith. And so let's go into that direction really quickly. Once you get to knowing and hearing God for yourself through prayer and studying the word, you get stronger and stronger every day. Like I'm getting stronger from this injury from working out. And your direction becomes more clear as what you should be doing in this life, your purpose, what's the best job for you, um, the best business for you, whether you should start a family or not, where you should live, and more importantly, how you should live. I believe that we all come from various backgrounds, different childhood situations, we grew up differently, so what may work for one may not work for the other one. That's why I always lead you back to the source. And if you're ever a part of any ministry or teacher or leader, they should not be leading you to themselves, but to the source. So that's it for this segment. I got a secret. You all are my new BFF friends. What does that stand for? My channel, Business, Faith, and Finance Friends. <laughs> so the next time, we are going to be talking finances on Friday. I want to ask you to subscribe if you haven't already and like and share. And if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. Until the next time, love you.